Everything looks better when it's in slow motion. Well, not everything. Hey Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love for PinnacleStudioPro.com. If you ever wanted to get any of that slow motion smooth butteriness going on in your video and you just didn't know how to get it done, I'm going to show you how to do that right now using Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. So let's jump off into the software and make some butteriness happen. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, here we are in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate. Let's make the slow motion magic happen. It's time for butteriness. You need to know a few things about your timeline and your clips in order to set up your slow motion correctly. Now, the first thing you need to know is what is your timeline setting? So I'm gonna go over here to the timeline settings and I'm gonna left click on this and it will tell me what my frame rate is. So that's what I'm concerned with here. It's my frame rate. My frame rate is 24p. So keep that in mind. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on cancel. And then I need to know the frame rate of my video clip. So I'm gonna right click on the clip that I have in the timeline, the clip that I'm using right now. I'm gonna go down to display information. And now if I scroll down here, it tells me what my frames are. So my frame rate is 59.94, which we just round up, that's 60 frames per second. All right, so I'm gonna close that out. And now that I know what my timeline is and I know what the frame rate of my clip is, I now know basically how slow I can make this clip go and still look smooth. The reason why I know that is because I need to figure out, well, my timeline is at 24, so what's a, 24 is what percentage of 60? Because my timeline is 24, my clip is 60, I can only go down to 24 frames per second and keep it looking smooth. So if I take a calculator here and I say 24 divided by 60 equals 0.4, so that's 40%. So what that means is I can make this clip 40 down to 40% of the speed that it is currently at. I can't go any slower than that. If I do, things will start looking all jumpy and it's not going to look smooth. I can do anywhere from 100% to 40% and it will look smooth and butt track. Okay? Same thing if I had uh let's say I had a clip that was 60 frames per second and my timeline was 30p and I would do 30 divided by 60 and I'm pretty sure you guys know what that is that's 50 percent so if my timeline was 30p I couldn't go any uh slower than 50 percent of the current speed now also the reason why people use things with higher frame rates to do slow motion is because the higher the frame rate is the slower you can make it go let's say that my timeline's 24p, so I have 24, and instead of a 60 uh, frame per second clip, I had that one that was 120 frames per second. So if I take 24 and divide that by 120, that means I can go down to 20% of the original speed. So that's a lot slower than 40%. So it'll look smooth and be slow if I have a 120 frames per second clip on a 24 uh, frame per second timeline and I go down to 20% it'll still look smooth so we know that with our timeline we can go down to 40% all right so if we watch it right now you'll see that there's two birds there and one flies away and the other one flies away so I want to slow down the speed at which they fly away. I'm going to go to a right about there. That's good. And I'm going to split the clip here. Now I'm going to left click to make sure that this clip is the clip that's active. I'll right click on it. Go to speed. 
and then I'll go to add. Now I'm going to leave it on constant. And what I'm going to do now is change this from 100% to 40%. I can click it twice. It'll turn blue. I can type 40 and hit enter. Um, if I hit 100, it'll go back to 100%. As you can see, it's pretty easy to get it back there. Two quick left clicks. I can go to 40 and hit enter. Now the anchor. So first frame means that the first frame where we split this clip, that's where the anchor point is where we're going to start to do the change of the speed. So I'm going to leave it on first frame as the anchor. I'm going to click on smooth motion and audio. We can leave it on whole pitch. That's fine. Now I'm going to click on OK. So what we'll see now is that there's a little yellow thing on the top here that shows, hey, there, you've added speed to this clip. But if I play it, it doesn't play the whole clip stops. So when we select it first anchor, we need to go ahead and now drag it back out to the original amount of time. So there's two ways you can do that. The first way is you can just left click here, put your cursor at the end of the clip till you see an arrow and a line, hold down your left mouse and drag this out till you see pink and drag it back in till you don't see any more pink. Now it should be the full clip. So let's play this back. And you see how slowly the bird flew off in comparison to how quickly it flew off the first time. A lot slower, super smooth and buttery. No jumpiness. Watch this. Ooh, sweet bird. Ooh, sweet bird number two. So very good looking. So now the other thing that we can do, this is for all of you math people in the building if you like doing math and stuff like that there is a site here that i like to use uh, to convert frames and time so i will have the link to this in the video description so if we were to right click on this clip and go to adjust duration and left click on that it'll tell us the duration of this clip based on the timeline. So the timeline is a 24 frame per second timeline. So it's three seconds and nine frames. Okay. So now we know that it's three seconds and nine frames in length, but we also know that three seconds and nine frames in length is only 40% because we sped it down to 40%. It's only 40% of what the original clip duration was. So now we have to figure out how to get it back to a hundred percent. So by using this site that I talked about, we can go ahead and enter in the frames or the time, which is three seconds and nine frames and make sure we have the frame rate set appropriately to 24. And here in green, it tells us, well, that's 81 frames. Fantastic. Now I know it's 81 frames. So how do I get this back? Well, now I need to go ahead and really say, Hey, this is only 40% of what 100% is. So if I go back to my calculator and I say, okay, if I divide the current number of frames, which is 81, and divide that by 0.4, because it's only 40%, then it'll tell me what 100% is. Well, that's 202.5 as far as frames goes. Well, great, 202.5 frames is how much time in time and frames. So I can go back here, type in 202.5, make sure I change that to 24. And it tells me, well, that's eight seconds and 11 frames, buddy. So if I go back here to Pinnacle and where I had adjust duration, if I change that to 0811 and hit enter and hit okay, It'll jump out to the exact number of, of time and frames and duration that it needs to be. As you can see, there's no pink here or any of that. I play this back again, toss off regular speed and they fly off a lot slower than they originally flew off the screen. Very smooth, beautiful, slow motion for you. 
All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, I want you to tell everybody out there, how are you going to use this slow motion effect on your next project? What are you looking to do? What are you looking to slow down? All right, let everybody know in the comment section below. Also, if you got any questions, you got any tutorial requests, leave those in the comment section below as well. And maybe I'll go ahead and give you a shout out and do your tutorial on one of my future videos. Now, if you like the content in this video, make sure you click on that thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. It lets people know that the content in this video is muy bueno and that they should watch it too, okay? Now, last but not least, you always gotta smash that subscribe button and click on the bell to get the notifications, all right? When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.